Hey guys, it's Tiny here. Welcome back to another video here on the channel. Uh, I do have to be a bit quiet today in today's episode because um, I'm back at my grandparents' house and they're in bed. It's currently 9 o'clock yeah, at night. Um, so yeah, I might sound a little bit quiet. I'll, I'll try to be enthusiastic at the same time, but I have to get used to how loud I can be and stuff again. I was just caving and I came across... A spider spawner and I didn't want to uh, open the chest without you guys so let's open this one first oh we got a name tag sweet a bunch of rotten flesh and just you know usual spawner chest things and oh we got a book and a golden apple oh, oh aqua affinity that's cool we don't have that yet uh, there was a bunch of skeletons that I had to like fight off as well um, but yeah, basically, uh, I probably should screenshot this this spawner. It's probably the best thing to do. Nope, wrong thing. There we go. Yeah, so I was down here in a cave, um, just you know, looking looking for some resources. Uh, I need to actually get cobble for the the build we're doing in today's episode. So I wanted to get as deep down in here as I can to start doing a bit of strip mining um, just for cobble but I, do, oh, I didn't want to uh, I don't want to uh, strip mine in general I just kind of I've got a bow and I don't know why I'm not using it there we go got you mate you're dead they're lethal, I swear. I thought he dropped a carrot. Um, yeah, I'm just purely looking for cobble at the moment because we are quite low on that resource. Die, mate. There we go. So I thought I'd come down in a strip mine sort of motion into a cave. But I do want to get to, like, diamond level. So, like, level 11 currently on level 38 uh, just to make it worth my while I guess um, just because that means we could possibly come across some diamonds and other goodies as well so I'm going to continue to look through the cave and find a low point um, around 11 or 12 so oh, we got some more iron yes yeah, so I'm just going to run around and look for a low point it's brought us back out to this massive cavern, so I think I'm going to dip down into this mine shaft somehow and just have a bit of a bit of a look around. Um, probably just light up this spot up here because I'll probably never never come here again. Oh, this is this cavern. Oh, okay. So it's all linking up together. How did I how did I miss this the first time round? I I don't even. Where are they? Oh, you're a villager. I don't know where they are. But we're gonna head down here and attempt to give this mine shaft a bit of an exploration. Oh god. Oh god. Get this skeleton, there we go. Uh, I'm going to block this one off. Let's get out of there. <laughs> oh, we do not need to go that way. Okay. New way. That means there's two spider spawners here. There's one over here too. Yeah. We're not going to go that way. No way. I don't want to die. That's like asking for death. Definitely. I think I'm going to stick to the to the task, and that is to get cobblestone. Um, but my inventory is probably a bit full, to be honest. So let's see if we can chuck some stuff out. We don't need that. Uh, we don't need that. We don't need the piece of glowstone. Don't need that bow. Don't need that bow. Don't need the bread or the wheat. We'll keep the sticks, of course. We'll keep that. Don't need the granite or the andesite. So everything else... We'll keep. 
Um, and we'll find a low point again of 11 or 12, <laughs> which is kind of difficult at the moment. Uh, but I think we're going to have to go into here, down here somewhere, to get to the low point that we want to get to. Uh, hello, Mr. Lava. What are you doing? Oh, more. Let me just skip past you. Uh, okay, Mr. Water. Oh, okay, definitely gonna get down pretty low here. Yep. Sweet. Can we get even lower somewhere? I want it to look natural, so that's why I'm kind of aiming for a low point in a cave, because I don't want to be, you know, trashing the world. Yes, it is underground, but I am pretty OCD about this kind of stuff, so... Here we go. Perfect. Perfect. And I think we'll just do a bit of a staircase down. Just to the point that we need to get to, which is level 12, which is there. And I'm just going to start, you know, doing my thing. Strip mining. I will definitely come back to you guys if I find something worth showing. For sure. Uh, for the time being, that is uh, that's it for this this clip, I guess, until I find something interesting. Sadly, I didn't get anything else, but that's okay. Um, I'm just going to pillar all the way up, actually, because I'm lazy. So today I decided to build a barn in our little spawn area, just to keep the building going, as I haven't really been building too much um lately we've just kind of been working on spawners and things like that but as you can tell this is recorded um separately so i am recording my voice separate to the actual gameplay because i wanted to just have a bit of a discussion uh regarding b00's one of his latest episodes um of his well not really latest but one of his episodes where he spoke about um how a lot of people uh, want to become, I guess, YouTube famous, uh, or just big on YouTube and resulting in, I guess, a career on YouTube and making lots and lots of money on YouTube. Um, he brought up a pretty good point, um, saying that not everyone, like, being pretty blunt, saying, like, not everyone is capable of doing this, like, it is very hard, you have to, you, you, take a lot of your personal time from your, your life and you have to put a lot more work into it. Um, I just want to say I think that is the same for any career that you want. If you want to reach the top, you're going to have to sacrifice a lot of your life to become successful in anything. But what he was saying was he was kind of trying to get across to say that not everyone should try and do this. Um, and then that kind of made me think about, I guess, all the YouTube channels that make tutorials on how to get big on YouTube. Um, and usually what they say is, like, have a good recording software, good editing software, co like, tag your video correctly, have a good eye-catching title, uh, you know, have a good description, all that stuff. And I was kind of thinking, like, that's, yeah, that's, like, helpful, um, but it's not going to necessarily help you grow. The thing that's going to help you grow is how determined you are, how dedicated you are, and you have to be entertaining. Like, if you're not entertaining, if someone isn't going to continue watching your videos, they're not going to subscribe, they're not going to like the video, and they're, they're obviously not going to leave a comment, or if they do leave a comment, it's not going to be a positive comment. Um, yeah, that sucks. Uh, <laughs> For a lot of people, they see their, their idols, I guess, or their inspirations on YouTube and they're like, I want to do that. That's exactly what I want to do. Um, but a lot of them s seem to think uh, they're on amazing money and they can just play games all day because they're making money off these games and, 
you have to have a lot of subscribers and a lot of views to just get the average salary of someone. So I'm pretty sure in Australia the average salary is like $50,000 a year. That is not much. <laughs> um, so yeah, you have to, there's a lot of things that come into account when you you want to pursue a career on YouTube. Now, I don't know if I want to pursue a career exactly. I don't really think of the money at all, really. I just kind of try to have fun with what I'm doing and meet new people, I guess, and get involved with other things. Um, because, yeah, I don't, I don't really think, not to be a negative Nelly, but I don't really think I will be able to live off the income that YouTube provides me. I only get like probably a dollar a month or something like that. Something small like that. I don't even know. I, I, can't, I couldn't even give you figures to be honest. But yeah, hopefully you uh, enjoy this design of this barn. I wanted to build a barn um, that had kind of a hut next to it with some storage that we could store all of our, you know, harvest from. I need to work on a pig pen and a chicken pen as well, um, and probably eventually a horse stable or something like that. But I, the reason I'm putting the barn here and not near the actual cows already is because I want to turn the cow pen into a, um, a blacksmith area where I could keep all my ores and everything like that. Um, I think that'll be really cool. And yeah, obviously move the cows to the new position. So inside it'll be cows and sheep. And then I'm thinking out the side, we'll make like a muddy terrain for the pigs, which will be really cool. And then maybe just have a tiny small pen for the chickens. Maybe a little chicken hut. I really don't know. But I think that's all I wanted to say about the barn so far. Um, I think we'll do the interior in a different episode because I, I, I'm all built out basically today. I'm, I'm done. I'm done with building and I've got a lot of uni work to do as well. So I thought I would just, you know, do some recording and build a barn for you guys. It is a few designs fused together. Uh, that's how I kind of get my building inspiration. I kind of look on Google and I'm like, hey, I want to build a barn. Let's go look at medieval barns. Let's, go, let's look at... Uh, like recent barns, let's look at barns in Australia, um, like even real pictures of of farmhouses and things like that. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do on the inside just yet, I haven't even built that far, so that'll be in, obviously, <laughs> in the coming episodes. And you guys also want a world download, um, I'm not too sure if I'm going to do the world downloads just yet. Uh, maybe if I reach a milestone of like 25 episodes, but I'm not too sure just yet, so I will continue to take that in, into account um, when I'm playing. Um, but yeah, cool. Also, just quickly, um, the texture pack I'm using is B00's texture pack and if you want to find it you have to go to his channel because I don't want to redistribute his work. Um, so yeah, I'll probably just link his channel in the description as well if I remember. But yeah, it's his building with B00's texture pack. So it'll be, uh, there'll be a link in one of his latest episodes. He always upstate, updates the links as well. So don't go to one of his old episodes because it'll probably be an older texture pack. But I think that's all I've got to say, guys, um, about the build and my little conversation. Leave me a comments down below if you have similar ideas and let's, uh, Let's continue with the episode. I thought before we would end the episode, um, it is currently the next day too, so I can talk a little bit louder. Um, we would just put down the floor. Uh, we're not going to do the roof or anything today. I might uh, do the roof uh, off camera. Uh, not too sure yet, but I will let you guys know, obviously. But this is, uh, it's looking pretty good. I'm really, really liking it. Let me just stick some cool features around here so the floor doesn't look too, too plain and dandy because it's just going to be an oak floor. Um, and we could possibly go and get some hay bales as well to put in our little storage around the side there too. But hopefully you guys enjoy the different style that I did, uh, like talking over, talking over the recording. I, I find it easier than trying to build on camera, uh, as you guys could probably tell 
from previous recordings. I am not too good at that sort of stuff. So yeah, the roof will be obviously like here. Like so. But we'll have to, I'm going to have to go get a bunch more resources as well. Because I am running out of supplies. That's the back door that we need to fill in with this dirt. Um, obviously. That's obviously something I can do off camera though as well. Um, so let's run over to here. I did I did start putting a bit of the trim on too, the roof trim. Um, yeah, so off camera I'm going to be getting a bunch of resources. Okay, we're pretty low on wheat. Haven't had to actually farm for something for a while. It's okay though. I'll just replant this. We've got a skeleton farm so it's not like a big deal anymore when we do run out of this sort of stuff. So let me just plant that. Hopefully we can get some decent amount out of this though. I'll just build it in here. Okay, we will definitely need to get some more that more of that going. That's another thing I can do off camera. And we're just gonna fill in this as our little hay situation. But that's pretty much it for this episode guys. Off camera, like I said, I'm gonna probably just add the trim and stuff and start the second layer. Um, but right now I'm going to fill in this and do some farming and wood farming, but hopefully you did enjoy the new style like I just said. Uh, if you did, hit that like button guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.